pizza, America's finest treasure, but what goes exactly into making this delicious treat? I'm here to find out. Our first stop is at Gambino's Pizza, where they stick to the standard conventional oven, which includes a conveyor belt. Today we have Michelle Rice, who is the general manager in El Dorado. We start every pizza with a fresh crust. We make our pizzas with a dough that we make all day long. Um, and we roll it out using a machine and a couple hand tools and put it, turn that into a crust and then sauce and cheese. But where does Gambino's get their ingredients? Uh, we have a couple of distributors. The main one is uh, Roma Foods. Um, they work with um, In The Sauce Brands, um, which is uh, a company owned actually by the Gambino's Pizza Corporation. Um, and then we've got a couple of other places where we get odd, odds and ends produce and stuff like that. It's made in a gas uh, conveyor belt style oven. Being a fairly busy business, it did rouse my curiosity when Michelle told me that the oven had a conveyor belt. So I asked, how many pizzas could be cooked in a single instance? If you're talking large pizzas, we can make uh, two side by side and they go through the oven and we could have up to probably 10 larges in the oven at once in some fashion or another. Now that I've found out how pizza is made in a typical restaurant, I leapt on over to Jacob's Well, who not only has a special night just for pizza, but uses wood and fire to make them instead. Here's Tyler Brickley to go into more detail. Thursday nights is when we stay open late and we do pizza. Uh, we have a brick oven in the back courtyard and we make wood-fired pizza in it. Um, we're just open lunch every other day, Monday through Saturday, except for Thursday, so it's a pretty special night. It's exciting. Uh, it's a little bit of a process. Actually, there's a lot of people involved at different stages. Um, I start the fire and get that going after the lunch rush. Um, the dough is actually made Thursday morning, early in the morning, so it has a chance to rise and uh, get made. And then someone comes in who rolls out the dough, makes the sauces. And then in terms of the actual pizza being made, we have one person who will make the pizza, another person who will run it out and bake it, and then they'll bring it back in for a server who will take it to the table. So yeah, it's kind of an assembly line. Compared to a conventional oven, I wondered what flavors might a wood fire oven add to the pizza? There is a, f a smoky flavor to it that, I mean, the conventional oven is just heat. So we have heat and, and flame and smoke, so there's a whole lot more factors that result in a much more dynamic taste. We get our ingredients mainly from our food supplier, but we also do a lot of our produce locally, and some of the meats that we don't buy in bulk, we'll, we'll buy locally also. Now that my mouth is watering from these interviews, I might just stop by Gambino's or Jacob's Well. Until next time, I'm Tyler Morgan, signing off.